was invited to go to Mr. Parker's Glendora studio, which was run by um, Dave Hebler and Jim Thompson. And eventually I ended up training there in 1972. And I trained for a while until school and uh, college and work ended up uh, taking a lot of my time and I didn't have as much time to train. So I trained when I could and then uh, finished getting my degrees and continued training. And here I still am, married Paul. Um, we raised children and continued the Kempo journey together. And we're still doing that 46 years later. Oh gosh, it, there's so many similarities. Um, first of all, it's given me the understanding that I can do more than I thought I could. I, I've mentioned this before, never in my life would I have walked by and looked at a karate school and have been in the slightest bit interested. Um, so Kenpo opened up a world I never thought I'd be participating in, something like that. It's always out of my comfort zone. Uh, I started off saying, wait a minute, I, I'm a hugger, not a hitter. What's this all about? But it's made me realize that I can take who I am and learn this art and challenge myself to do things I never thought I could. But most importantly, it's really opened up the world to meeting other people, traveling, um, realizing that you have the opportunity to affect somebody else's life in a positive way to guide them to impact their life in in some way that's positive and also it comes to the point where it's not what you can get from Kempo it's what you can give back and what you can do to help other people and improve their quality of life um, and just do for others because that's what life is all about it's about giving back and helping others in any way you can and Kempo gives me the opportunity to do that because it's a great big family out there working together on the same goal.